All right, my friends, welcome to episode 157 of Prof and Dev Play Games. I am the Professor Larry at Prof Plays Games on Twitter. Over there is Anthony at Summer Speak. And want to apologize uh, real quick for last episode, some cutting out of my mic because my mic cable was getting all pinched and I didn't notice it. So hopefully this week that won't happen. Also, my voice might sound a little hoarse. I went out to a piano bar last night and screamed my face off. Uh, so my throat's a little raw. But anyway, how you doing, Ant? Uh, doing pretty good. Screaming at a piano bar. Oh yeah, scream singing. <laughs> I got okay. I got on sta- I got on stage for my birthday and oh no, oh, I no. said uh I said uh play any Foo Fighters song you know and they played Everlong and then they invited me up and then they invited up uh, another person who was celebrating her birthday. She was 69 years old and then she sat on my lap. It was <laughs> it was the whole thing and uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. <clears throat> so well, that sounds like a crazy birthday party. Yeah, my throat's a little little raw. So, uh, this week we are talking about the Nintendo Direct that finally happened on the 13th, uh, kind of our reaction to a lot of announcements. Uh, then we'll talk about what we're playing, uh, and a little bit of frustration from Anthony for Hollow Knight, so I'm looking forward to hearing about that. Uh, but let's start with, uh, how, I don't know how you want to attack this. You want to attack it chron- chronologically, or you want to, like, go with biggest stuff to least big? Uh, let's just talk, start kind of the biggest stuff, and go, okay. Nintendo is the biggest troll, one. Oh god, yeah. Um, let's just get the, the Animal Crossing stuff out of the way. The, the reveal on that was incredible. <laughs> Absolutely uh, masterclass of trolling there. So tell me what was what you were what was going through your mind as that was happening. And I want you to explain it because I knew before I watched it that Animal Crossing had been announced. So I, I it was so as I, I knew that there were rumors about Animal Crossing. Like a couple people had tweeted and like. Uh, making allusions to animals and crossings and so i figured something animal crossing was going to be in it and then at the end you get to the end and you're like oh this looks like a nice view of the animal crossing characters like isabella and um can't remember the other one's names but you're there and you're like beat the duck or whatever yeah and you're just like okay they're not announcing it directly but this is like a very nice looking animal crossing like scene and it keeps going you're like okay what's this going to turn into? Like, where's where's the next thing? And then they just sideswipe you of Isabella's in Smash. Yeah. Doctor, You're like, seriously? <laughs> yeah. it's, it's been like a pretty requested character, which is funny. I think she's only in New Leaf, right? Is that, uh, is that the only game she's in? I believe so. I mean, I've, so this is the thing with me with Animal Crossing. I never played the game before New Leaf. Oh, okay. But I went out and bought a 3DS... F- with people from PopCap, we went out at lunch and bought 3DSs and Animal Crossing. So that was the game that sold you on the 3DS? Uh, kind of. It was mostly because I had like five people sitting around me that all really wanted to play too and were hyping it up. And so mm-hmm. we went and got it. And then we spent uh, the next few months uh, consistent lunches, visiting each other's uh, neighborhoods, trading, doing the whole thing. Um, it was nice. the probably the optimal animal crossing experience um Mm -hmm. so there was definitely this announcement just the way that they built that and i guess people cool that she's coming to smash i guess yeah people uh, people are excited people have been requesting isabel in that smash ballot she was in the top seven and she was a a me character uh suit or, or outfit whatever in the wii u version so there's been some some calls for her to be in and now there you go and she's not even she's not an echo she has her own moves she looks similar kind of like dr mario slash mario but she's technically not an echo no um which is crazy because how many characters in smash does that bring us to well she's she's number 68 oh my god (laughs) so i wonder who (laughs) number 69 is gonna be Uh, i guess we'll see it yeah. should just be no one. It should just be nice. <laughs> yeah, nice. nice. And they skipped the number seven. <laughs> Pretty much. It just be done. Um, so, so they announced her for Smash, and then what was Then Fate of mind? the Black. And you're like, okay. And then they bring in Tom Nook, and then you know something's up. Um, yeah. Then, then they, they get there, and they they draw it out a little bit longer. Than it. But definitely, you're like, as soon as they came back from the Fade to Black, it was more like, oh, haha, Nintendo, thanks. Thanks for that. Just... Just had to see if you could go uh, even with more of a fake out than the uh, um, oh the King the, K rule yeah the King K rule thing from last time <laughs> like that was probably my favorite ever um man they're really good at this but yeah I'm I mean they showed a title card and clearly some of the scenes that they're 
they showed in that teaser. They're like, yeah, this is roughly what Animal Crossing will look like on the Switch. So right. um, it'll be 2019. I I will say this this uh, direct really pushed the whole like they have a lot in 2019. They do, and and this direct when I finished watching it, I was thinking eh, it was pretty good, and it's because I think it was I heard a quote from Adam Boys who was I don't know what what he did for PlayStation before he left, but uh, he said you know when we plan our P- PSX or E3 announcement or whatever, we want to have like you know 11 or 12 really good things, and we want everyone to walk away with like three things they really like. Um, kind of a something for everyone, um, which yep. this came across uh, as something for everyone. There are a few things that were exciting for me and other things that I don't really care about, but I know are exciting for other people. So it's really cool uh, for them. Like Animal Crossing, I don't really care. Uh, Isabel and Smash, I, I'm happy to have more characters, but it's not really an announcement for me, but I know it's huge. And looking at 2019, the slate of games, let's say there's 10 games. I don't know how many there are. Three or four are exciting for me. The rest, not so much, but it's still, that, that doesn't mean it's not stacked. It looks pretty stacked anyways. Yeah, and that's the right thing. If they have all these games coming out and there are three to four that everyone like, doesn't matter if it's the same ones, right. then they're going to have a good year. Yeah. Um, I was uh, hoping for some more about Fire Emblem, Three Houses, but uh, oh well. I have a uh, feeling they're going to hold on that one a little bit. Yeah, I'm, waiting, if, I'm waiting for a direct that's just going to be very focused on it. But I think that's it. probably going to be after Smash comes yeah, out. Yeah, that makes sense. There's no reason to have it this year because they can save the, that big gun for next year when I don't have yeah. much else maybe. They 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 do Smash. Smash comes out in December. They do a direct in January that's all about Fire Emblem. And yeah. That's the next thing. So people uh, got Smash, they got they got their switches for Christmas and here's your next big game. <laughs> So. Yeah, speaking, speaking of the next big game in 2019, one of the other announcements was the port of Super Mario Bros. U coming, uh, Ultimate coming over to uh, the Switch, um, which I played on the Wii U, and it was incredible. It's a really great game, so I'm glad it's coming over. Um, I'm but it's, pretty excited. It's the only one on the Wii U that has, the, or excuse me, the Switch that has the U moniker. Um, but I'm, I'm trying to figure out. Uh, like uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe added some new characters I guess this is too I just don't know what makes it ultimate or what makes it deluxe I mean um, uh, anything extra um, yeah uh, just a couple new characters so 164 courses yeah that's all the courses between that game and then the Super Luigi Brothers U which was the DLC for that game so I mean I um, guess it just bundles the DLC in um, yeah it's just everything that's bundled it's, it's together, so good. So. Um, it is so good. It's if you I don't I don't think you played this game. No, because not on the the Wii U. But I have played uh, some of the new Super Mario Brothers, the yeah the, the DS ones and things like that, and I really enjoyed the, them. So yeah, well, this is the best of the lot. So this is I'm I've been trying not to double dip on the Wii U games, but I might for this one. Uh, it's just really good. Yeah. Um. Then we got some uh, some shots of, or I don't know if it was in the right order, but uh, Yoshi's Crafted World. They uh, kind of confirmed that for the title, and yep. even the though they use like, flipping in there, they do. I they just, actually I wonder, use the term flipping right in. That, they're talking about the game. That makes me believe that was the title until they were like mm, too close to other things. <laughs> uh, I, it honestly could be very. It, close to other things and it could just also be it was the working title like they had to call it something for a while um right but the thing that intrigues me the most about it like this is definitely a day one purchase i just love yoshi games um chill kind of platformers but you play the games or play they design the level so that you can flip them and play them the opposite direction so you can see everything from the back side of the, the diorama basically and it's just like it looks beautiful it really does the cardboard the the wool the all the different like crafty materials it looks nice yeah, I'm I'm all on board for that game. Uh, Your kids would love it. Yeah, sure. I think they'll they'll really enjoy it and love the look of it. Um, yeah. What else was there? I mean, I guess we should just talk about uh, the uh, Switch Online. Get that uh, out of the way. Yeah, it's twenty dollars a year. So yep, twenty dollars a year, so you can do multiplayer um, and a bunch of games, and you get some NES games along with it. Right. So. And the cloud saves is important in case yeah. my Switch fries. I won't lose my Zelda or Hollow Knight saves. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that's important. But I was kind of down on it until you said, well, do you want to play Smash Online in December? I said, well, that's it. I guess I'm buying it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get it when I once I get Diablo. 
Oh, yeah. That's right. going to be important. I'm like, there you go. That's what I want to... As soon as there's a game a out you want to play... <laughs> exactly. It's worth it. 20 bucks a year to play Smash Online? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm there for that. And everything else is, is a bonus. Like, I just... I, I So it's launching with 20 NES games, and then they're going to have three NES games per month. At that cadence, if they do all the S or NES before they do other consoles, like we're not going to get another console until after this generation is over. Yeah, I doubt that. I have a feeling I, that they'll bring in I hope you're right. SNES at some point. Yeah, I just it just feels so slow. Like if we're going to go to NES, then SNES, then GBA, and whatever else. Yeah, I just, just don't think they'll they'll games. do it exactly that way. I think I just eventually right. they'll just be like, all right, now we're going to start introducing SNES games, and then. Maybe they'll do GBA games. Who knows? Um, God, I hope they do. Because be cool. the, they had them on the Wii U, but not. If you're an ambassador for the 3DS, you had them there. Otherwise, you didn't. Yeah, you haven't um, had them since the GBA. One of the things I saw, which was crazy, was uh, Nintendo reapplied for. Um, oh, Golden Sun. Golden Sun. Yeah, they're keeping it. They're really. Well, I saw an analysis of that, and it was it was Golden Sun in like three or four other games. And people were saying, if there is anything in Smash Brothers Ultimate related to those games, which is Likely. how it was for the Wii U, they have to re- renew it. So maybe, maybe not means anything yeah. more than that. I hope so. But it'd be nice to see those. I think those were, were those GBA? Golden, Golden Sun, Sun was GBA. Okay. For sure. Um, yeah. I'd be really excited for another Golden Sun. I really enjoy well, those games. People are clamoring for Isaac from Golden Sun. I think it's Isaac uh, to be in... I'm mixing it with Earthbound. Anyway, the character from Golden Sun right. into Smash, so who knows? Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. Um, so, yeah, I think the Switch Online, yeah, like, is there anything super exciting? No, but it's 20 bucks a year where I don't expect a whole lot for 20 bucks a year um, when it comes to these kind of uh, console online services. So, well, if, they guess, were, but... if they were charging 60 bucks, like Sony and Microsoft, yeah. sure, you better be bringing a ton, but. I'm paying a third of the price for an entire year. So, right. Nah. Yeah, and also, I guess the NES games, if I think about wanting to play Legend of Zelda on my 3DS, instead of buying it for five bucks, I can just play it on the it's Switch for, yep. for $160 a month or whatever it is. And Super um, Mario Brothers 3. I am definitely going to replay that game just because I love it so much. Um, so, I'm, I think there's enough value. There, uh, there's obviously enough value there. Yeah. Um, is it exciting? No, not really. It's Not really. <laughs> it's just... Uh, which it doesn't seem like it's trying to be the most exciting thing. It's much more of a like, well, you're going to play online, right? Uh, you're going to buy this. So right, here's some extras. It yeah. just it almost seems like a proof of concept for the like Netflix of the Nintendo catalog. Yes. Uh, pay pay. You know, we're going to add some more tiers. Here's SNES. Here's GBA. You want more tiers? Pay more per month or something like that. I yeah. don't know. No, that's true. Could do that. I think it 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 kind of just that's what makes sense to me considering it's so low and it doesn't. I don't understand why they. I think they could have made a little more money with it, and it's because I bet you here's the SNES tier, so add five bucks a month. Here's GBA, add another five bucks a month. Um, I don't know, it seems like people would pay that. Yeah. So we'll see. Um, other thing I thought was super interesting in this direct was the Final Fantasy just dump. <laughs> oh, so so Zodiac Age for the third time. I was squeeing at that part. <laughs> like hands to my mouth going yeah. um i was so excited um and you just to buy it that. for a third time <laughs> yeah i did and then i brought up to my wife that they were doing uh seven nine and ten ten two and she's like oh i'd get ten ten two for that that'd be cool to have portable well um, it'll be the third time she played that game <laughs> yep uh Jeez. actually probably fourth because she did play it in japanese originally oh yeah ten right um, yeah, once that direct happened, I uh, downloaded ten and ten two to my uh, Vita because I've been meaning to check that out, and I've I've had it for a while, so I probably won't get that for the Switch. But I I bought twelve really cheap for the PS4, and I haven't played it yet. Uh, but if I had it portably, I would definitely play it. Yeah, um, eight still gives no love at all. What? Well, yeah, why is eight missing? I don't actually know why it's missing anymore because no it has a it has a PC port. They oh, PC ported a yeah a long time ago. Um, mm-hmm. They haven't updated. They haven't, of course, brought it to um, newer consoles. They haven't really done anything with it. I mean, it gets a lot of uh, shit, honestly. But it, it, just from a completionist standpoint, I feel like people would enjoy playing it now, at least from a 
what was this game that did so many things different that really went outside the mold of what Final Fantasy could have, was at that point in time. Um, mechanically, that is. God, the mechanics yeah. were so different. Um, but I don't know why they just don't release it again. I don't know. Maybe like, there's something technical I don't know about it that they can't, like, right. or it's super hard compared to other games. Um, I know it did some really weird stuff on the PS1, and for a long time it was a really hard game uh, to emulate properly because of mm-hmm. how it used the hardware. And it used mm-hmm. it in very strange ways, um, a couple ways, especially when it was doing cutscenes, like the way cutscenes could blend together with the polygonal characters and backgrounds, like they started doing weird stuff there. Um, so I don't know. Um, uh, that was sad. Um, I have hopes that final fantasy tactics will get announced one day. Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, the, wow, what was it? Like everybody's done. Uh, Chocobo's mystery dungeon, dungeon. Everybody. Yeah. World of final fantasy, like the, the pocket edition of 15, which actually is on a pretty good sale. Like when it dropped on the eShop, it's, it was live when the, the direct yeah. went. And it's like, 30 bucks normally and it's on sale for like 16 bucks and i was like i almost bought it just because i really did like the main story in 15 even though as we talked to you know ad nauseum about the the gameplay switch in the middle um but i didn't (laughs) i i I resisted um Um, they announced the remastered final fantasy crystal chronicles i have good memories of that i played that with uh friends just out of college um with gbas actually with the link cable or whatever. With the link cable to a GameCube GBA is where you can control your inventory on your GBA mm-hmm. screen. Um, That's pretty cool. It was Their a lot first of fun. Foray into like dual screening it. Yeah, it was. It, was, was it? it has a lot of fun. Um, so I'm, I'm tempted by that one again. But I mean, that's a 2019 thing, so I can wait. Um, yeah. What about World of Final Fantasy? Is that uh, it's one, at all? a little bit like? I don't, I don't think th- you played that one, right? I have not. Um, yeah. It's definitely one that I'm sitting there going like, "There's so much coming out, and there's no way I'm getting it November 6th. Absolutely oh, yeah. no way. Right, right, right. Um, uh, we'll still be playing Odyssey at that point. <laughs> why is it coming out so soon? It can't. Yeah. We need to stop know. this. It needs to come out like th- two to three weeks later. No, two weeks. Two weeks later, because Diablo 3 comes out November 2nd, which got announced here. Right. Um, there's too much. I can't do this. And actually, yeah, now the season pass for Odyssey, which gives you, like, what, AC3? AZV. Yeah, I'm just remastered. like, I, I don't want the season pass. Don't give me more games, please. <laughs> Man, the uh, the extra content. I, I'm been just reading articles, watching videos about Odyssey. I'm getting really, really excited. So I decided to go back to to Origins uh, on PS4. And God damn it, that game is so good. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then the, the DLC, which I haven't got to yet because I haven't beat the main game yet, is apparently just stellar, phenomenal. So, the, and the value proposition for the season pass for Odyssey just seems even greater because it has yeah. two content drops and then the remaster of three. Like, that's you know, I'm, I bought the Steelbook Gold Edition or whatever, so it's I'm getting that anyways. It just seems like such a great value, and I just cannot fucking wait for that game. And did you hear in the the direct? It wasn't in this one. It was in the the Japanese one. Uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey is coming to the Nintendo Switch in Japan via streaming. Yeah, I saw that. And it's not the first uh, streaming game on the Switch. They've done it right. for, like... Resident least... Evil 7, they did. Yeah, yeah. So it's just weird. I, I figure it's in Japan because they can at least... They can guarantee a certain bandwidth there. Correct. Like, they have just and, much better broadband. So... And smaller country, so maybe yeah. easier infrastructure-wise. Yeah. Um. So that's cool. I, I hope one day that's something that comes here to select markets i don't know if that's ever going to happen but i guess that's where people are looking to the future to be able to have you know like microsoft for the next generation to have some sort of cheap hardware in your hands that you could stream a high resolution game to um i just don't know how it's going to work but i'm not a technical wizard so Uh, they'll figure it out first we need better broadband in the u.s that would help (sighs) yeah i'm sure trump's uh on that (laughs) yeah let's uh see if the how net neutrality, getting rid of that, is uh, going to help this process. Um, well, the West Coast is stepping up, so we'll see if the rest of the country can it's match true. it. And you know, if uh, California actually does it, it will be great. Um, well, they already did. I mean, it, I they, thought, they I thought had it not it passed. It did. It, I know it passed. Have you been signed? Jerry Brown signed it yet? You know what? I haven't followed up on that, so I'm not I sure. I thought I saw something that he hadn't, at least a couple weeks ago, it had passed. Right. And there was an article saying that he hadn't, it hadn't been like fast track for him to sign it. Oh, like, okay. He was going to sign it. It's just, you know, 
sometime. When, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I hope you will. Um, you mentioned earlier a working title. Uh, I think it was Yoshi. Uh, so there's another game in this direct with a working title called Town. <laughs> yep. Game uh, by Freak. Game Freak, this little R- RPG. Um, what do you think about that game? Uh, I I have no clue. Okay. Like it wasn't enough for me to get any kind of sense. I'm. Yeah, that's how I felt too. Um, it's cool. It's Game Freak. They're working on another RPG that's not Pokemon, and it's an RPG for Switch. Cool. Um, yep. A little a little RPG machine, which is a okay with me. Yep. Um, what else did we get in there? We got oh, Katamari Damacy. Yeah, did you ever play that game? Originally? Yes, I did on the PS2. And did you like it? Yes, it's the most ridiculous thing out there ever. <laughs> I've never seen it, and I was like, is this, you just roll around and pick shit up? Uh-huh, uh-huh. and you keep getting bigger and bigger, and the bigger your ball gets, the bigger t- things you can pick up until you're picking up entire cities and then continents and, you know, the whole thing. Um, so just It's like an absolutely absurd game. It's such an absurd game. Um, it seems absurd. <laughs> uh, it's fantastic, though. Um, cool. It's very silly and kind of in the best way. It has really catchy music. Uh, I was totally seeing it um, for the rest of the uh, the day after the direct. Na, um, na, 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 I'm reading no. this. Yeah, this. no. <laughs> I don't know the tune. Na, 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 na. That's not it. <laughs> um, what else was in it? I mean, we got the, more of this. Board games. Yeah, there's a bunch of board game stuff, which is cool. Um, Munchkin, Catan, Pandemic. That looks yep. pretty cool. Um, oh, uh, Damon X Machina. Um, we saw yeah. more of that. Um, still waiting to see more of that coming out. I mean, it's definitely one from a look standpoint is up my alley and yep. like IP the whole thing. I'm still dubious on how it actually it plays. Right. So I will. I'm probably going to wait for reviews on that one. But that's another 2019 one. So yep. So we got well, ways to wait. Yeah. Uh, one that's coming out immediately. Uh, it's actually on Tuesday. So the day after this. Uh, drops is the Capcom beat 'em up bundle, <laughs> which is just like goes back to my core, like early gaming memories. I just yeah. love side scrolling, like beat 'em ups, like Final Fight, and this has like seven in it, I think. This is like, uh, a ton. The ones I've never most heard of them I've never played, honestly. Yeah. Right. Um, although I've seen some, of, I remember Final Fight, of course, Final Fight. I played that in the arcades a lot. I remember Knights of the Round. But I think the rest of them I saw, I was like, I don't know what these are. I have no clue. This tracker that we're reading says the digital version of the bundle comes out this winter, but I'm pretty sure it comes out Tuesday. Okay. I'm confused about that. Um, another one that dropped, Shadow Drop, during Direct was uh, City Skylines. Nice. You played that on the PC? I have it on PC. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's the best, probably, SimCity game that's not SimCity, because there hasn't been a good SimCity in forever. Right. Um so yeah, uh, I have a hard time seeing how that would play well on Switch, but I did. I got to think that I played a crap ton of the original SimCity on Super Nintendo. So who yeah, knows? me too. Um, yeah. That interface worked pretty well. It did. Um, although City Skylines is much more detailed than just slapping down squares. So right. When I've seen early reports, people who picked up this port uh, say that it plays pretty well. So okay. I'm marginally curious. I just, you know, having it on PC, I think I'll wait. Yeah, but that, this is another thing of like, I, I can't have more games. I right. just can't. <laughs> I don't have enough time to play the ones I have. Yeah. I'm still fucking playing Assassin's Creed Origins that came out nearly a year ago. So yeah, um, you're gonna get Splatoon two update. That's happening. Well, and the way like that that was the most confusing part of the direct is like we, I don't know what this is about, but then they flashed the hundred player kind of thing for a split second before they cut away, and they said you know go to the blog for more information, which I have not done. But I was wondering, is this a battle royale mode for Splatoon? Um, that would be a smart way to get people to jump on the, the online with Splatoon, like a new mode. But I, the way that they rolled out that information for Splatoon 2 during a direct, I was very, very confused and not super interested in figuring out more. Yeah, I didn't get, uh, didn't even pick up on the the hundred thing. It was, it was like literally a second. It flashed on and flashed off. It was like hundred times battle or something like that. Um, so I don't know if it's if it's battle royale or not, but it was it was some new mode. So. Okay. Um, yeah, and then I guess the last thing that I'd probably want to talk about is just the more more stuff about uh, Battle for Atlas, where we saw Wolf. Yeah. Um, and every time I see this, it's just like 
okay, this is just a Star Fox game. Like, they made a Star Fox game, and then for the other consoles, they put just generic characters. (laughs) Yeah, pretty much. This is definitely, like, this... uh, It's so weird to have, like, a day and date across all the consoles, but, like, the premiere version is probably going to be the Switch if it plays well. You know, Yeah, I mean, I don't see why not it wouldn't be. I mean, it's, it's the place that you get Star Fox. So, um... The rest of it, it already has pre-built IP recognition on Switch, as opposed to every other console, like you just said, it's just generic sci-fi IP. Right. Um, Yeah, I'm not getting it day one, because I will have... uh, Odyssey. (laughs) Odyssey at that point. Um, Yeah. There's just no good time for any of this. Oh, no, there's, God. There's the whole year. It's just like there's so much stuff coming out all year round that it's just, uh, you know, you got to be very selective. I, I got to be, I just got to stop. Like, I just look at it and I just get depressed on how many games I are coming out that I want to play that I just know I won't get to play. Like, right. I just, even if I wanted to play all the things, there's no time. Buy all the things that are coming out, which is way too much money for me to spend. Um, right. I just don't have time. Like by the time I'll finish one, like five more will be out that I can't play. <laughs> yeah. So well, I'm, you know, I'm still playing games from, you know, first of all, I'm playing games from 1994, but also playing games that I bought last year that I haven't got around to, to finishing. And it's just, I pretty much, I think I've said this a million times on this podcast, but I could never buy another game the rest of my life <sighs> and have plenty to play for the rest of my life. <laughs> it's just yeah. insane. And these directs are just showing me more and more of like just how much is coming out and how much good, games are coming out yeah um even if it's older stuff like yeah i'm getting diablo 3 again for the switch you know what i probably put close to a thousand hours into that game and i'm gonna put even more like just shows you how good of a game it is it it, it it's definitely enjoyable and yeah i've played it before but don't care i'll get it on switch and yeah. i'll get to play it in bed which is gonna yep, be hilarious play as, play as gan too yeah um there's gan isn't what isn't isn't there a link costume as well i so i I I saw pictures of a link costume i think we both did and i'd mentioned on a podcast and since then i've not seen it on anything official so i don't know if that's actually true or that was like a a fan mock-up um because i've only ever seen ganon i think they would they would advertise it have had link um so just seeing ganon um I guess the last thing that I probably want to mention, even though I've never played any of these games, but it's one of my favorite Nintendo characters, which I probably should play the 3DS game coming out, uh, is Luigi's Mansion, Mansion 3 Open the Direct. Um, looks like a pretty good Ghostbusters game. It's true. I've, I've never played any of the Luigi's Mansions. Yeah. So, um, the new one, the first one is coming, uh, re-release the game, or the GameCube one is coming out on 3DS. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I, I, I think I'm probably going to start there. Yeah, I, I would assume go for it. I, I, this when this announcement happened, I had to start thinking post direct. I'm like, I never played a Luigi's Mansion. I know it launched with the GameCube originally. Right. I didn't have the GameCube originally at launch. I got a GameCube for Wind Waker. I think I got it for Wind Waker. Mm-hmm. Whatever one of them was the silver one. Whenever I could pick up the silver one, but it was mm-hmm. Wind Waker or it was Metroid uh, Metroid Prime. All right. It was one of those. Was where I got um, stuff. The GameCube got a got the GameCube and finally had games. So I think I missed. I missed like Mario Sunshine. I never played. Um, I never played Luigi's Mansion. Just some of these early uh, GameCube games I didn't touch. Yeah, me too. So. That's why I'm hoping that more of them come to. I'm fine with them coming re- reimagining GameCube games to the 3DS because. Oh yeah. If they can play it, it's fine. I, I love my 3DS still, so that's great. But, of course, I think we'd all rather have them on Switch, but keep bringing them. Oh, I, would I just to play I just on. found the the uh, the tweet. So it was the picture of Link's um, gear mm-hmm. in Diablo 3. Mm-hmm. But then it was a... It's from a tweet by Steve. Who's Steve Bowling? U.S. editor, um, Nintendo Life... Um, it was uh, Link in Diablo 3 is a leftover from testing that wasn't intended to be in the game. Ah, uh, damn. It was left was in great. footage provided by Blizzard to journalists. Oh. It does not represent the final product. So yeah, there's a picture where it's like Diablo-ish armor that's green, but he's holding a Hylian shield and the Master Sword. Um, yep. So that stuff's not going to be in Diablo. So uh, there sucks. you go. I guess there's not really a character that... Uh, Paladin, maybe? 
Crusader, would, uh, Crusader totally. Yeah, Crusader, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm thinking It'd totally be Crusader. Crusader is the one that's all about shields, and you can do right. two-handed and shield and the whole thing. So Yeah. Hmm. So, no. We we both did see that picture. Okay. It existed at one point. It is not in the final game. Damn. I guess, you know, I, I trust them that it didn't work. So. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, we're both day one on that one, for sure. And then, I don't know, anything else? Oh, um, the... Uh, if only if you are a Switch Online member can you purchase the Nintendo oh, yes. controllers. So you can uh, hurt your hands. I know. Like, okay, I love the NES. It was fun to play, but that fucking controller is garbage. Like, oh, it's yeah. just fucking rectangle, man. Like, it's we not comfortable know, at no all. No one knew any better at that time. Yeah, exactly. Like, and it was fine. And it you know, then. hurt your palms like hell. Just jabbed into your palms. Ugh. Right. Although that, I'm like, fine, stuff. I should get them, have my kids play and go, enjoy. <laughs> this is what it was like when this I was, was walking like, up. I just had to complain to my kids, like, because so we're watching uh, the Dragon Prince just came to Netflix. Um, oh yeah, I want to watch that. Is it good? It's uh, we watched two episodes, watching it with my kids. Um, mm-hmm. It's good so far. It's from one of the writers of uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender um, mm-hmm. TV and series. And there's a video game guy involved in it. I can't remember who it was. Uh, some from Riot is involved in it. Yeah, that was it. Um, yep. So we're watching that, but I'm like, okay. For work, one uh, one of uh, the people works like, "Hey, we should probably watch this because it kind of matches tonally what we're going for from like a not a grim dark fantasy, but still having conflict." Mm-hmm. Um, so cool! I'm gonna watch it. So I'm like, "Sure, let's watch it with my kids." Um, it's aged appropriate, whatever. So watch la- first episode last night. Watch the second episode tonight. Finish the second episode. It's time for bed. Uh, my son starts kind of flipping out a bit on the fact that like he just wants to watch more episodes and I had to be and I pulled out the like so yeah when I was your age and I wanted to watch another episode of the show that I really liked I had to wait a freaking week <laughs> a to whole watch week. it and you know what if I missed the time that it was on I couldn't watch it again I had a hope <laughs> that it would get rerun at some point and you know what it might not and I may yeah. never see it <laughs> right um, no, no, and my no, wife no. busted out with going like this is this is your get off my lawn moment and i'm like it kind of is um yes definitely you will never understand the pain of not having on-demand media (laughs) yep you just had to pray that you catch it and if you're home and if your parents were you're out doing something you couldn't be home and you're like please let's go and watch it and they're like no we're doing whatever you're like fuck or you you get to have a vcr and you like set the the recording up and then you Uh mess it up Oh yeah, you were the, the most the wrong sad time. the <laughs> saddest part is you're like, "Oh yeah, I got this all set up. It's going to record it. It's going to be great." You come back, watch the tape and you're like, "This is not <laughs> what I wanted." Cooking show instead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Was, never experience that again. Yeah, so that, <sighs> that maybe they just need to square NES controllers to be like, yes. "Yeah. Toughen up those palms." That and the goddamn uh, N64 for Mario Party, where you just put the fucking stick in the middle of your palm. Oh, and just give off. yourself a blister. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it was awful. Uh, oh. Yeah, we're, we're we've evolved a little bit. Uh, uh, but yeah, overall, I thought it was a solid direct. I think you had similar feelings. I did, and I'm just like Nintendo. You can slow down a little bit now. I'd be okay. <laughs> like, it feel like there's just between E3 the in, in Nindy, like the weird, like the European Nindy Direct mm-hmm. for Gamescom, and then the Nindy Direct for right before Paxish time, and then now uh, this, and just like guys, it's okay, we're good, just we have enough to play. We're good. <laughs> Me too. Well, I got a freaking Into the Breach and Yoku's Island Express on my Switch, and I really both I want to play both, and I'm just like, you know, I work, I have a kid, I like to read, yeah. I watch shows with my wife. Yep. I'd probably get like half an hour to an hour a day of gaming, and lately it's been, you know, you get to choose one game. So, and I have yeah. like 60 that I want to play right now. <laughs> yep. Crazy shit. Uh, speaking of playing games, you have been playing some Hollow Knight this week. Let's I hear have. about that, man. So, uh, weirdly, most of it's been this weekend. I was pushing really hard on some dev stuff over the week, so I didn't play. I played like. Monday, mm-hmm. and then I didn't really. I think I played a bit on Tuesday, and then I didn't play anything until like yesterday again. Um, and that was partially due to some frustration. So, yeah, I want to hear where you were. Um, what was getting so, frustrating? So, 
I should say, like, so right now, where am I? I have it down here. So right oh, now. Just a FYI, hold on a second. Uh, my wife's downstairs going to be blow drying her hair. So you might hear that in the background, folks. Okay. I'll try to minimize it as much as possible. So right now, I made my way to the Royal Waterways. Uh huh. So that that's fine. Like, today has been a lot of exploration there. I explored up in the uh, Howling Cliffs last few days, like, doing all sorts of stuff. So, I got into that, uh, what was it, the uh, resting grounds. Uh And I said, I'm like, I don't know how I'm getting, like, I have to find how I'm getting to get out of here because I can't. Right. So, Uh cool, I found the stag station really quickly. Cool. I can get out. And then I went to exploring that and... Um, getting the uh, dream nail stuff. Uh huh. Whatever. Oh, did those. you get the um fast travel one yet? The which one? The uh, is it the dream nail? The where you get to fast travel with your your no. dream nail? No. Oh, okay. I'm at, I have three hundred and sixty four. And oh, okay. I think you need nine hundred for that. Yeah, I'm slowly collecting those. Um, mm-hmm. I've upgraded my sword to the channeled nail now, um, mm-hmm. which has helped. That's. I did that before going down into the waterway. Mm-hmm. But the, the frustrating part was I was in that uh, resting grounds and I was just exploring like, okay, how do I get out of here? Where should I go? You go, it gets you back into the city from the, you like approach the city from the West. Uh-huh. Cool. Uh, and then I went down crazy path into the ancient basin. Uh huh. Oh yeah. That was, and this is where my frustration was. I shouldn't have been allowed to go there. That was dumb. Because <laughs> getting out of there was hell. Absolute hell. So going back up this cavern full of spikes. Right. The pla- and I'm like, oh, if I had double jump, this would be super easy. Oh, but I don't. So I'm going to die a couple times trying to get out of here. This is not trivial. This is annoying. I felt very punished for exploration at that point. Uh, so the ancient basin? Are you talking about the abyss? Did you get into the abyss? No, it's called the Ancient Basin. Uh huh. I'm just, hmm. And there's a tower thing, basically connecting the city and the Ancient Basin. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah. Where it was. And, mm-hmm. and there's just spikes lining it. Oh, wall. I know exactly what you're talking about. I remember getting stuck there for a while. Very annoying. And that's where the only time I'm like, oh my god, this is a game about exploration, and now I'm feeling punished for being for exploring. Right. Like. So I had to put it down for a little bit there. Um, mm-hmm. I was just like, God damn it, I don't... You remember the first time I got stuck there, like, going back up that tower, basically, was nigh impossible. It took me a long time. Yeah, no, it took me, like I said, I died a number of times just trying to make platforming jumps. Right. And really precise platforming jumps. Like I said, if I had double jump, which I know you can get because it's very clear that there are places I should be double jumping, um, it would be very easy. But I don't have that yet. Um, so, but I guess yesterday I, I got myself back out of there finally, um, and have just been exploring and getting things, getting stronger. I found the troop. Oh yeah, in the Howling Cliffs. Yeah, I found them, and so they're there in town now. I don't know exactly what they do. Um, I I see icons on my map of the like flaming tree things, the whisper yep. whispering mm-hmm. roots. I assume I go there and do things. So, I haven't yet, but well, the there. trees are different than the tr- the trees are for the um, uh, essence. Okay, but the troop is the flames. So when you put on that charm, oh, I have to put the charm on. Okay, yeah, you put, when you put the charm on, I'll show you where the flames are. Um, so I haven't done that. Uh, I did kill another another uh, um, spirit dude. He shoots a lot of spikes out uh-huh. in weird rotations. Um, mm-hmm. Was he? It's like at the edge of my mind. Again, this is another thing with the game. None of us is actually. You're like, I don't know things. Well, and it's a game that I loved. I'm like, ah, which boss was that? And there were just so many that it, it kind of they all kind Gorb, of... Gorb. Oh yeah, Gorb. I am Gorb. <laughs> so yeah, I beat him. I've done. I felt like I've been very made a lot of progress lately. I have a got another soul vessel, so I have the second oh, nice. little bubble so I get some more can hold more soul got mm-hmm. a bunch of different charms now I need to actually kind of look through them more and adjust um, I'm going to go back to the mantis lords now try that oh, out yeah. well, if you 
and I know you will just pay attention to the pattern that they're, they're pretty easy. Um, cause they all kind of do the same thing, but when they, I think it's, they come in all at the same time that gets a little frantic. Yeah. Uh, but in terms of double jump, just to just double back on that real fast. Uh, do you know where it's at? Not a clue. Okay. Um, do you, did you, how much have you done of crystal peak? Uh, not, not a lot. A, Cause I kind of fell way. down. Oh, okay. Cause I haven't gone back there. Oh, okay. But you, I assume I can approach it again and do more there now. You you have to because in order to get the double jump, you need pretty much need the thing you find in Crystal Peak. Okay. So you're kind of that far away from it. You gotta go through Crystal Peak and then come back to <laughs> come back to the tower, basically. Okay, so yeah, I went because that's the point when I went to Crystal Peak and then I dropped down into the resting grounds. Yeah. Like where it very clearly it's story based drops you down. Um, mm-hmm. So I just haven't gone back there yet. Um, cool. I've just been exploring. Right now, like the waterways, sure, I can get down in there and do things down there. But uh, Man, I found the waterways so annoying the first time I got in there. They're a little annoying, I will say yeah. that. Um, again, seems like anything that has like heavy platforming in this game, not the most fun. No. it it The areas where you have to platform so much really show the seams in their platforming prowess. It's just not great, especially after, for me, coming off a game like Celeste, which was just an awesome platformer. Yeah. Um, it's serviceable. And then you get to like late game stuff like the White Palace or Path of Pain, where it's like platforming madness. And it's just like, yeah, this is not fantastic, especially with the um, split D-pad shit on the Joy-Con. Yeah. <laughs> it made some of, the, some of the moves a little hard to do, I think. Yeah, okay. Uh, but, uh, we'll see but if I do that stuff. The Hollow Knight is yeah. I don't know. If, I don't think you will. Um, Hollow Knight is coming to PS4, and I'm I'm waiting to see the trophy list if I before I decide. To oh man! Dip on that because I think that's a game that I'd love to platinum, but I, I imagine that the trophy list is going to be like n- some of the stuff I have not done yet um, in order to platinum it. I don't think I could even do it. Ooh. So yeah. But there you go. You could get a platinum trophy. I would love a platinum trophy. I've played dumb games for platinum trophies, so I'd love to play a great game. But I, you know, yeah. it's a game that I know I want to replay, and I think I would want to replay it on a different system, just because of the D-pad issue. And now that I know where I'm going, it would spend I would spend less time, I think. Yeah. Oh, of course. I, I think I hope. definitely you would fly through the game a bit more. Um, yeah. So um, cool. I'm glad yeah, you. Uh, I really, that's all I've really been playing. I think. Oh, I played a little bit of Diablo three on PS4. Um, my kids asked you, me to play it, so I just started a new character in seasons and went even oh, though cool. the season refreshes uh friday actually oh wow okay that's a new season coming out um i wonder if that season's going to finish before then switch comes out I wonder no if i have a feeling the switch will just because seasons last longer than a month so oh, okay um i'm pretty sure that the the switch will just start at whatever season that is um yeah or it won't start with a season and the seasons will start it will get st- it will just have open play, and then the seasons will start on the next one. Um, mm-hmm. Either way, I, I could see them waiting till the next one. That'd be probably be fine, um, and just let people get adjusted to it and into it. Um, but either way, um, still fun. Uh, there's just something about just destroying rooms of things, especially when you just go into rifts now to level. Oh my god! Mm-hmm. Yeah, one well, rift I, like- I get like six levels. It's amazing. Well, I really like the Nintendo Switch version where you can just go right into that stuff, challenges and uh, adventure mode or whatever, yeah. and skip the story, because I don't think I can do it again. <laughs> I, don't, uh, I, really... I probably will do it some mood again, because sometimes the season's journey requires you to beat story stuff. Oh, so, really? Yep. Okay. But you can get through the story really fast, trust me. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's just, I've done it, A, so many times, B, I just don't think it's that compelling. Yeah. But whatever, the fucking gameplay is, is what it's all about. Yeah. Uh, uh, for me, Origins this week, uh, just getting hyped for Odyssey. Um, I really like some of the changes they're making for Odyssey in terms of like the dialogue system and the more choices um, than than Origins had, just deepening the RPG system. But I just I I keep coming to Origins saying I'm going to just follow the main path and just get through the game. I want to beat it before Odyssey, and then I just get just fucking sidetracked with like all these different side quests that are pretty interesting, like. I played one today that looked like it was going to be 
you know, one stage, then you'll be done with it. But no, it led to another thing, another, another twist of the story. It was like Witcher 3 style kind of uh, side quest. Um, not as exciting, but, but close. Um, and that, you know, that was my hour of game time. And I'm like, well, <laughs> I didn't advance the main story at all. <laughs> Uh, but I had a great time. There it's you just go. So That's the fun. important part. Yeah, just traversing. Uh, the NPCs are interesting. The just the ver- the loot basically. The loot loop is kind of interesting. Um, and I realized in some of the reading I've been doing this week uh, about Odyssey, it's done by the same team that did Syndicate. This is their newest game, first okay. game since Syndicate. And I loved Syndicate. And I know this is going to be different than Syndicate, obviously. But to kind of marry the team that did you know, took the lead on syndicate with a lot of the origins kind of framework. Sounds like yeah. this is going to be pretty rad. And, and they said I, that they're not doing one for 2019, right? Correct. They're correct. So this off. is, yep. So this is going to be, they're going to carry this through 2019. So this will be, I'm sure there'll be new content for this next year. And of course, Assassin's Creed three dropping at some probably yeah. next year. Um, or definitely next year. Um, you know, I think, Assassin's Creed 1 at that point would be the only Assassin's Creed not playable on PS4. Um, that's fine. That's a lot of Assassin's Creed. Assassin's I, would not, Creed. I would not recommend going back and trying to play one yeah. for anyone. Yeah. No, I'm fine with all the ones that I have. I've only ever beaten Syndicate. That's it. So I have plenty to play. I have the Ezio trilogy. I have yeah. the Origins to finish. Obviously, uh, Odyssey coming out at Black Flag, which I don't really like Black Flag. I'm one of those guys. You are one of those uh, guys. I know. One of the few. But yeah, I'm not really. Does not float my boat. Get it? Ha ha ha. ha, ha. Yeah. Uh, what else have I been playing this week? Uh, oh, I started uh, Night in the Woods on the Switch. Oh, that was, cool. That was my Switch game. It's, it's good. The writing's really good. Um, so someone told me that it's very much like... Uh, it's about like going like you've a person have gone away from where you grew up and are going back. Yeah. You go away to college and then you drop out in your sophomore year and you come back home and, you know, think about coming back to where we, uh, someone from. mentioned that I think it was that PAX was talking to me about and I was like, Oh crap. I don't know if I can play this game. <laughs> it, it, I think it'd be hard to play it if it didn't kind of nail that feeling. Um, and if it weren't like anthropomorphic animals, okay, uh, that kind of lightens up the the mood. But it's it's not dark so far. But there's there's some dark history alluded to for your main character that I haven't figured out yet. But I've put probably two hours into it. It's like an eight hour game, um, and gameplay is not the thing. <laughs> it's the, it's a story driven yeah. thing uh, more than anything. Think oxen free, but way less annoying to travel, um, and not m- as much some choice in dialogue but not as much but it kind of plays similarly and feels similarly to uh, to oxen free okay um but significantly better in my view so okay uh, that's the other one i've been playing this week and then uh, i guess i'm just gonna play more origins this week and uh yeah that's that's what i've been playing wow kind of a mix for you i will be playing hollow knight for sure oh. yes that's exciting i'm hoping you get over i hope you're hoping you get a couple more abilities because yeah. it really starts to open the game up more i'm sure. double jump and uh the thing you get from crystal peak it's pretty good too okay yeah so uh yeah i don't even know where to get the double jump so i'll go back to crystal peak for now and see where that leaves me because i'm trying yeah. to get out of the waterways right now i'm like i don't really want to be here right now i'm not really feeling it but i got the yeah. map so i'll move, I'll move yeah, on that's good yeah yeah yeah, uh, Crystal Peak maybe the next place to concentrate on, and then you'll get that ability, and it'll open up some other stuff. But then to use that ability to get the double jump is not really readily apparent. So if you get stuck, shoot me a text. Okay, I'll, but it involves I'll that tower you out. fucking hate. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, do I? Ha- will I have double jump to go up it again? I are feeling I know how to get up it now. It might not be as bad, but yeah, you don't you don't need double jump to get up it. Oh, I know you don't. It'd just be much just easier. Make it way easier, yeah. So because no. of yeah. only one part, one part is just a pain in the ass. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, uh, no, you don't need it because you actually get there, there's a point in the tower, probably halfway through, where you see like horizontal spikes, like a path going horizontally across your screen. Yeah, that you can't get into. You actually enter that from a different area and bust through it all the way through to a new area, uh, Kingdom's oh. Edge. Oh, cool. Uh, then that's that's a fun area and that's where you get double jump okay so yeah but yeah go to crystal peak <sighs> so that was episode 157 i think we both really liked the direct and we're looking forward to 
having time to play games. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that that's what we want the most. Oh, tonight I'm gonna go finish reading my Batman comic because it's I'm reading the Hush uh, graphic novel. I don't know if you read Hush. No, uh, I haven't read. I don't read Batman. I actually don't read pretty much any superhero comics. Uh, okay, you read things like Saga or yeah. Um, what's the other one you read? Wicked and the, Wicked, the Wicked and the Divine. Yep. Um, just stuff like that. I've kind of realized that I find the superhero comics just very formulaic and. Oh yeah. In the end, very unsatisfying. Like, yeah. I want things to change. I want there to be progress in the characters. And it never actually, like, every time I feel like progress is being made and, like, a character arc is happening, it's just all reset anyway. Like, exactly. Because they can't. They don't want to progress these characters. They want them to stay as they are. Um, right. Is Which one's Hush? Um, I made a note about it. Is it the Is it Batman and Catwoman getting married? Well, I haven't got to that part yet, but they definitely are hooking up. <laughs> uh, there's a point. I don't know if it's Hush or later, like, because there was a big thing that they 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 get engaged. The whole huh. thing. Um, it might it might be this one because it, it's it's kind of moving toward that. It's one with Two Face. Um, I have no clue. Um, okay. I, it yes. was something I was like interested to read, and then I read a review of it on Io9 and was very disappointed. So, oh, okay. sorry, yeah. I just got it. Was just like, sigh. It's comics, it's, of course. Thanks. It's like. The reason why I picked it up is because it was like one of the top five or top ten arcs for Batman. Um, Did it come out recently? Two thousand two. No, okay, that's not this. That's not that. Like the yeah. the whole them getting married was this like this past year. It was oh, like yeah, a no, late no. a new thing. Um, uh, and spoilers for anybody that read. Yeah, it doesn't actually happen. Of course, uh, like, of course. They yeah. can't. They can't be happy at right. all. Like they have to just reset everything to the fact that they're just gonna be frenemies again whatever um yeah it was indeed. just frustrating and that was just like oh i would i would have read this mm -hmm. but now knowing that it's just going to be nope bruce is back to the exact same place he is selena kyle's back to the exact same place she is cool whatever yeah that is really annoying about those comics is that they build towards something and then don't let you get there so you don't feel fulfilled at all yeah and i've just kind of gotten a little tired of that overall well, that has been Comics Cast from Prof and Dev Play Games and yeah. Read Comics and Watch TV Shows. Blah, blah, it's true. Blah. Uh, we'll be back next week to talk about whatever crazy shit's about to happen because I'm sure we're we're in the thick of the season right now. So We really are. Yeah. All right, friends. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next week. All right. Later, all. <laughs>